and I am here because I am I'm going to be talking about the Trey Wayne's option that is very likely to be picked up. It hasn't been picked up yet. I do expect it to be, and this option would cost Minnesota a $9 million cap hit. And so the question becomes, he's a solid player, but is he worth that? <laughs> and currently he has five career interceptions, and he had two last year. And to put this into perspective, Xavier Rhodes had only two, and Minnesota picked up his option before he exploded in 2016. And that's one reason why you do pick up this option, is if he does have an exploding year like Rhodes did, then you have to, like, you have a problem whether you're playing this franchise tag game or you're trying to give him, like, a whole bunch of money off of the one year of production, and you don't have that one year of buffer, really. And Waynes has also turned into one of the better tackling corners in the league. And at one point, he was rated as the number one corner in run stop percentage per PFF at 8.4%. And Trey only allowed a 21.8 rating win in man coverage last year. And he only allowed a 57.8 catch rate last season, despite being one of the more targeted corners in the league because Rhodes was on the other side, and 57.8% was the fourth lowest of any corner that was targeted 100 or more times last year. And he also had a 74.1 total PFF rating, and given how rough PFF tends to be with the cornerbacks, that's decently impressive in itself because of how often he was targeted. And... He will still commit the penalties, but Trey did still take a big step forward in 2017, and it kind of feels like he's on a similar path to Rhodes in terms of his development. Not necessarily in production, because they are different types of corners, but just in how they hit their stride. It seems like he's kind of finding his potential in the same time frame that Xavier Rhodes did. And I think the corner development is something Minnesota has done very well. That's one reason why I don't think we need to give up on Mackenzie Alexander yet, even though some people want to. He was better in his second year than he was his first. Give him his third year, and he'll probably look a lot better. That's I trust Zimmer with this. It's one of the few positions that we can kind of say, okay, we can just trust him. And he just seems very into that. And... You still have, he has a great recovery step because if he ever did bite on something early, he has that elite speed to catch back up. And we did see that towards the end of last year. Like, it just kind of, like, imagine if we went last year with Mackenzie Alexander or Terrence Newman if Trey Waynes got hurt for an extended period of time where he was one of the most targeted corners in the entire league because Xavier Rhodes is on the other side. Do we have the same kind of defense <laughs> with Terrence Newman out there on the other side of Xavier Rhodes constantly. Probably not. He's not nearly as talented as Trey Waynes is at this point in their careers. And it just seems very, he seems kind of vital at this point. So picking up the option right now kind of feels like a no-brainer kind of move. And $9 million is still a little rich for next season given how much we're paying Kirk Cousins now. And but that nine million is only guaranteed with injury. So if he really did underperform and kind of just screwed the pooch on it, he uh it wouldn't be that hard to get rid of this nine million dollar cap hit. And that was the whole reason why Teddy Bridgewater's option wasn't picked up because that would have been twelve million dollars likely guaranteed on it, which is why Bars is twelve million dollars because he was a top ten pick for so for a linebacker it turns into twelve million and. You can extend that to make it cheaper. I'm a little shocked they didn't do that with Barr. And, but like I said, with a corner, you'd probably play this a little safe as a lot of these kind of positions. The longer your wait, the more expensive it gets. So this would be a position that I would expect them to try to really lock up early as it kind of seems like he's kind of hitting his potential a little bit here. So if you can lock this down earlier before he really, really hits it, you can kind of get him cheaper than what he would be. 
or you could potentially use a franchise tag on him after his fifth year option. But this $9 million option really wouldn't be that bad considering that this could actually turn into a lot more money if we don't pick it up. So to me, it's a no brainer. I would like to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And don't remember to like and subscribe as well for if you are enjoying the content. And until next time, I shall bid you guys adieu. And yeah.